This week, the Adelaide Fringe starts and with it, a smorgasbord for audiences to choose from. But for the 6,000 performers, the Fringe can be a thrilling ride of critical success or financial failure. So intense is the competition that some artists are questioning whether there should be a separate comedy festival. Arts reporter Matthew Smith has more. It's late January and in a city side street, members of the Cirque Nocturne troupe are sweating through another rehearsal. In another part of the city, actors in the debut show A Paper Tale are ironing out kinks in their script, while at Regency Park, former professional singer David Gauchy is cracking the whip for his latest musical fringe show. It's You've got these ideas in the head and you know they're, they're going to be amazing um, and you just have to kind of get them out there. But with the shows comes a potential nightmare budget bottom line for both professional artists and amateurs. The financial perils of putting on a fringe show is something Kate Lawrence knows only too well. It was basically a year's worth of savings. So most people say for a year they buy, buy a car or they put a deposit on a house. I, I do fringe shows. With more than 1,200 events and 6,000 artists, it's a crowded marketplace and the Fringe tries to guide artists through the financial maze. It also provides marketing and PR guidance and exposure and discounted tickets through its main sponsor. Significantly this year, it's using government funding to reduce the amount of money it takes back from each ticket sold. The financial risk, however, remains high. Kate Lawrence lost a significant amount of money last year, but is banking on being in one of the main entertainment hubs for a second fringe to do better this time. Not helping her prospects is a perception problem among Adelaide audiences. A locally produced act wouldn't be as good as a comparable show from interstate or overseas. Um, and I don't think that's the case at all. But with no plans by Fringe to change an event that sells more than 600,000 tickets annually, the battle is on for every performer to put bums on seats and a smile on the bank manager's face. Matthew Smith, ABC News, Adelaide.